Hi, in this video today I want to show you how to create a simple and automate project timeline in Excel file. Okay, so now let's get started. I will open the Excel file. Yeah, okay. So here I'm going to create some data in this in this Excel file. Okay, I have a uh, the number, the task, the duration. It should be in day. And the start date. End date. Okay. Make this one smaller. I will create around 10 tasks here. Here. I select the one and press the control on my keyboard and just drop and drop here to increase the number to 10 okay i make the number column is a center alignment for the task for the task i will have a task zero one okay i will copy it for another row here okay Duration, I will have a 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, something like this. Okay. Make it bigger. So here, for example, my project will be starts from the uh, 1 and May 2020. Okay. So and this will be equal the started plus the duration. Okay. So here I'm um, will assume that the started of the task number two will be equal to the end and minus one. Okay. And this of the task one minus one for the task number two. Okay. Minus one. Okay. So here, I will copy the formulas for the index for all of the tasks here. Just click on the index for the task number one, and your drop is from the top to bottom. Okay. I will copy the same formula for start date. Just select the start date for task number two, and drop it, drop it upward. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Good. And here I will create some of the project information on the top. Project name project duration duration day project that project and okay so here the project name will be the website abc okay for the duration okay in order to do the calculation for duration i need to uh, identify the project started and end date first okay the project status will be equal to the mean values from the start column here started column here okay and the end will be a mark from the end column okay and then we do the calculation for duration it will be equal to the start date uh, sorry ended minus start date okay we have a 25 day to complete this project okay for example Okay, I will select it all and select the wrap tag. Save it. I save it to my desktop. Uh, project timeline template v1.0 project timeline auto mesh template. Okay. For the duration, I make it smaller. Okay. 
Okay. So here I will create some the column here to indicate the timeline. I will have I copy the this here and paste it to this one. Okay. I will do some formatting for this. Okay, rotate. Okay, something like this. It looks better and easier for us to manage the timeline. I will make this one is smaller. Okay. I will have I will copy it for as a column. Oh sorry. Just copy it here. In grid. I make all of the column here is smaller. I can select all of the column and then okay okay no no no. So and this is 26. So here we have only 21. I will increase it more. Something like this. Okay. I will make all of the column here is the same width. It will be consistent. Okay. Make it smaller. I will make another column is smaller because my resolution of laptop here is so small and I will make all of the column here in only one screen here for easier checking and reviewing okay Release the last column. Okay. Okay, I will do some formatting for this. Make it some border. And here, I will release some of the redundant row here. Okay, I will make on uh, the, I will reduce the front side for it. Okay, okay, okay. So here it look better. I do formatting for the column. It will be. Okay, something like this. And the column for the timeline is with another color. Okay. No, no. For the project information, I will have some the format here. It will be another color. Make it the middle alignment. Okay. Save it up. Boom. Duration make it smaller. Okay. So now here, for example, if this uh, if this start start from the first of May, it will be have some the color here. Same thing. For example, it start from the for my it will be here color 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 okay so now here i will use some the function of the shell to write the code here i for example i will have the if the data of, okay i make this one bigger easy for talking okay i have some conditioner here i will do the compare if the value of the f4 Okay, F4 is e greater than or equal to D5, D5. Okay, 
Ok, mình merge this one and define n and the f4 it is smaller or equal with the e5 e5 okay and then we will find some color for this for the row otherwise it will, it will be blank okay so now here we need to let me think okay we need to use the if we use the if function should use the if and and function together okay I will have a equal if and and I will have the you take a look into the formula on the top here for easier checking and viewing okay and I have a f4 it is greater than or equal d5 comma it will be the f5 it is smaller and less than e5 okay close the end and then I will binding the x x okay otherwise will be blank enter there are more columns okay let me okay let me see if okay one my f f5 f4 greater than d5 and f i smaller and e5 let me see here what happened here logical test with n equal d5 okay small f5 e5 okay no 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 it should be f4 sorry okay you see here the data re return is true just mean for now here this cell will be have a brick okay will be treated we will copy it with the same oh no 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 we do the comparison so here we have to fix the column for the f5 f4 here it will be fitted and for d5 it will be fitted to d column f fitted and e will be fitted okay enter copy for other column here i will make this one is smaller okay so now here in order to copy the formula formula for another row here in another cell here you just select the first and then drop it to the end of the row okay and copy the same thing for the below yeah okay so you see here for now it's a time for checking okay you see the task number one will be start from the first to the to the third of may okay so here select that select the select that okay and for the task number two start from the four to five okay three is six to nine six to nine okay good that four is ten to twelve 10 12 13 and 14 this is 15 to 17 okay 
eighteen to nineteen, twenty and twenty one, twenty two to twenty four, twenty five and twenty six. Okay, it good. Okay, okay, okay. So now here, just need to do the formatting. In this of displaying the check here, I will find the color. I will select the column here, and I click on the home. Go to the style group. You see, we have a conditional formatting. You click on this one, and I will select highlight shell group. Yeah, I select equal to. Okay, so here. I will do the comparison. This will be equal to check the egg here. Egg. Okay, egg. And I will change the color here for custom format. Okay. I will have a fill fill in the, the, the color. Okay. And I will do the same thing for the foam shine. Color, uh, foam color will, will be the same color. Okay, okay, yeah. You see, it look better. I will do the copy formula for all of the row here. Okay. Copy. Yes, it look better. Okay. So here, I will delete this one. No need. Mud it. Okay. So here, if I increase the duration here, so the timeline here will be increased as well. Okay, for example, I will increase the duration of the project is 25 days, and if I increase the duration from 1 to 2, so it should be 26, 26, and the end date will be 27. Okay, you see here in the timeline, it will be Fill the color for 27. Yeah. Good. Increase another one for that number 2. Yeah. Increase as well. Okay, okay. So now here, it's increase the timeline. You can call this one a gun jack. Okay. Save it. Okay, and the last step, I will make some the formatting for the group here. So here, I will make the project information and the header of this timeline is sticky. Okay, the same thing for the number that duration started and end is sticky as well. Okay, so here, I will select the row, the shell is F5. Okay. And then I go to the view. Yeah. You take a look into the window window group. I have a freezes pen panel. I click on this one. Yeah. And now you see here we have a project information and and the table header is sticky. We have also the sub information here of the task and duration. And started and this is sticky as well. Okay. So it would be easier for us when we have the project duration is very long. Okay. Save it. Okay. So I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to create a project timeline, a very basic list and automatic list for the project. Yeah. Of course, this is a very basic list, so you can be on this one to do customization for the project. Okay, I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you think this is useful, please share, like, and subscribe my YouTube channel to get updated. Okay, thank you again, and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.